it won't give any glory to God. But, so I want to use this time to glorify God, what He is doing in India, to bring shame to the enemy. And the Lord he is our provider and He is so faithful. He is the healer as we were singing. So <clears throat> I always sing to the Lord that, Lord, I am waiting on you. I am waiting on you. Yes. You wash my... You wash me with your blood and you fill me with your spirit and I'm waiting on, I always wait on your visitation. You know what, we come to church many times, many people, they come, we come, we come to church. But do we, we need to see, check ourselves, are we really connected with the Lord? That is so important, you know, connecting with the Lord. When we connected with the Lord, you will see the amazing things happening. Amazing things. That's what I always say. Lord, I wait on you I'm for your visitation and for your spirit to fill me, the Holy Spirit to fill me. And uh, you know what? The number one is the you must uh, connect to him and wait on him that he wants to talk to us, right? He wants to talk to us. And we wait on him and we wait to listen to him. And when he speaks, you must obey for that. Yeah. Yeah. Then you will see the amazing things, wonderful things, miracles, what not. And you know, that's what I am I am doing in my life. And that is the reason I am walking into these miracles. I'm telling you, when the Lord Lord's hand is there on the work, different it is. Yeah. It's very different. See? So Lord <clears throat> Nikaibe Jiyunti Darshinchu Prabhu Nikaibe Jiyunti Darshinchu Prabhu That's in my language. And we sing to the Lord, Lord, I am waiting on your visitation. God is so good. I, you know, I, you always allow the children, allow the kids, and God's word says, it is not the will of my father. It's not the will of my father that one of these little ones shall perish. It's not God's will. It's not God's will. But what is God's will? Every little one should come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Yes. That is what His will. Yes. Doing God's will is our most responsible thing, I say. We call Father Abba. We call Him Abba Father. And Jesus said, Who is my father? Who is my mother? Who is my brother? Who is my sister? Who? Those who do the will of my Father. They are my brothers and sisters. Yes, we right. don't have any right to call him Abba Father and not doing his will. Yes. Right. You do his will, then you are calling him Abba Father. Yes. We have all that right. That's the God provision. And it despise them not. I made this calendar uh, just to show you the pictures. So, children are the most uh, important people and the Lord wants them to come to the Lord. And I am obeying the Lord. I started doing this. I don't want to tell the old stories. I always have the new stories to tell. Right? God is not interested in the old stories, old <laughs> testimonies. Right? He is a... Our God is interested in the new things. Every day is a new day. Every time He gives a new song, new vision yeah. and new word yeah. and new name and everything new. Yeah. Old is passed away. Yeah. Everything new. And I love to see that, speak the new things, what is the Lord is doing. So, so many kids in India, especially, you know what? These days, my government is anti-Christian government and very serious and uh, want to control us they want to stop us. They don't want us to speak anything about Jesus. But the more they are doing, the more strict they are. Yeah. And the Lord is right. doing, manifesting yeah. more and more yeah. and doing wonderful things. Yeah. And I was uh, working among the 
children, winning them for Jesus Christ. And you know what? I went to the Lord, as I said, listen to him. He gave the strategy. Yeah. When you work with the strategy, yeah. Yeah. things will be different. I'm telling you, my dear yeah. friends. Yeah. I went to the Lord. Lord, we have so many, 1.3 billion people. I used to say one soul at a time. Uh-uh, that's not. One soul at a time, all through my life, if I do also, still there is so much to do. So I said, one village at a time. And the Lord, you know what I say? When it matters to you, it matters to God. That's right. When it matters to you, it matters to God. Yes. And I said, one soul at a time? He said, yes. And when I said, Lord, one village at a time. And when he started giving the villages. Yes. And then I said, Lord, one city at a time. Yes. And the Lord opened the cities, big cities for me. And I am walking into the cities and bringing the people, children, adults, everyone to the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. And then now, you know, what is my slogan? It is not just one soul, not one world, one village, not one city. I am claiming, you know what, around India, there are small, 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 small nations. Yes. Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, you know, all the small, small countries. So I started asking God, Father God, one nation at yes. a time. Yes. One nation at a time. Yes. It matters to him and it matters yes. to me. Yes. And my, my, my father said, yes, go ahead. Yes. So, you know, all these little nations. Bangladesh is 99% Muslims. 99% Muslims. 1% Christians, 1%, you know, all including Catholics. And I want to go there. I want yeah. to talk to yeah. about Jesus there. It is risky, yeah. but when the Lord sent me, he has, you know, his angels will That's be right. with me, who will protect me, who will guide me. All 37 years I completed. He's so faithful, the one who called me. Yeah. And, and the children. So I said, Lord, give me strategy. I want to win the kids more and more. And the Lord gave me the strategy. We were working with the pastors, very few, but today I tell in the presence of God so happily, the Lord, uh, the two, God blessed us. 2,000 pastors are working with me yeah. in the, in the, yeah. in my letter. 2,000 pastors. So I went to these pastors and shared my vision about the children. You know, as I said, in India, no children, children's church in the churches. I mean, they don't give value for children. They don't give value for value children. They don't value the women, you know. So I wanted to share my vision with the pastors and I was sharing, praise God, they received yes. the, you know, importance of the children they received. And they were asking me, Pastor Lata, come and teach our children. We ch our churches are open. You come and teach. I said, uh, uh, I am not going to teach. How many I will teach? How to how many I can I can come and teach? You know. So I said, no, no, no. This is what you must do. Give me two volunteers from your church. Give me two volunteers from your church who is born again. And who want to, who love the children. Give me yes. two volunteers. Yes. And I give them training. Yes. And you know what? 2,000 pastors <laughs> gave each pastor two volunteers. Wow. And I have 4,000 volunteers. Yes. 4,000 volunteers. So I train them how to win children for Jesus. Yes. I, I, I train them. After that, I gave them the tools. You know? How to go win? I give them a small les a lesson, Bible lesson, you know, Bible story, and then coloring activities, a kit, and a banner. We give them. So, 4,000 volunteers, yes. they, ma they should sign up before I train them. They should sign up and obey the rules. And this is one of the rules. They should be born again. If not, we will lead them to the Lord, you know, first. That's the number one qualification. Yeah. Number two, once I give you training, once I give you the material, what you must do, you must go to three places and start the children's clubs. Three children's clubs. 
ईच वॉलंटियर मस्ट स्टॉप दस ए कंपल्सरी सो दे ओ बिल्ड दैट एंड दे इन अ वर्ड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग दे फेल इन लव विथ चिल्ड्रन दे वांट टू गो एंड रन टू द विलेजेस एंड स्टार्ट द क्लब्स एंड यू नो व्हाट दिस 4000 वॉलंटियर्स 4000 वॉलंटियर्स आर वर्किंग ईच इज रनिंग थ्री चिल्ड्रन्स क्लब्स रीचिंग चिल्ड्रन इन थ्री डिफरेंट एरियाज 4000 मल्टीप्लाई बाय 3 How many? Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand clubs. Twelve thousand clubs every week, and in each club, minimum one hundred kids are attending. Twelve thousand multiply multiply by hundred. Hundred. How many, brother Korki? That's over one million two hundred thousand kids. <laughs> इंडिया Very soon, very soon is going to yes. be yes. because millions of the children, the generation is coming up, yes. Yes. accepting Jesus, yes. discipling for Jesus, yes. and you know, building, building the lives in um in the Word of God. I am excited about this. Yes. Yes. Just in December month, from first December to twenty second December, we reached. Oh. Hundred and fifty thousand children, new, new kids. Never they were in the clubs. Never they were in the church. Hindu Muslim kids with the story of a Christmas, Christmas story. Five yeah. hundred volunteers and went and reached hundred and fifty thousand children yeah. and adults, one for Jesus. Yeah. 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 Big things are happening. You know what? I remember I told you, the Lord told me one day. Come up here because I was out speaking with the Lord and out talking to Him about one orphan, about one widow, and one sewing mission I need, when the pastor need the roof, things like that. And the Lord told me, stop talking small things. Yeah. And He said, come up here, I'll show you the bigger things. Yeah. And you know why He was saying the big things. And I am receiving those big things. Amen. That is one of the thing. You know, children are one for Jesus and disciple under the discipleship. These kids are not from Christian families. They are from Hindu and Muslim children. Yes. And they every week they come to the every week they come to the club and learning. And through the children, adults are coming, parents are coming. No doubt, I am taken many times into the, you know, police stations, and I'm still, I don't care. I don't. That is a part of my life. I don't care. I am so used to that, you know. But you know what? Every time I go, the Lord is always blessing me with a big fish. Big fish. I catch always big fish. When some trouble is coming, I said, "Okay, Lord." This is my opportunity to go and speak to these big people, and they are hearing the word of God. By hearing, faith comes. Hearing the word of God, the word of God has the power to bring them to the Lord Jesus Christ. So, the Lord is wonderfully doing that, and I don't want to take much time, Pastor. Thank you so much, and I want to share. You know what? So many videos. so many widows you know widows are not valued in india and uh, during the covid time these all widows and the old women they were because you know old people get catch the covid very easily so you know our people are very superstitious so they said mothers and grandmothers please leave the house and go out of the house live somewhere because me and my family will be safe so nobody want covid in their homes so they send this old people out of the houses they don't have a place to live 
they were under the tree, in the toilets, public toilets, everywhere. And the Lord showed me that and I gathered them and I put them and we have widows' homes, different places, widows' homes and they are well taken care. They are my prayer partners, they are the widows, you know, they make beautiful things, we sell. So God is all, in, you know what, you may be thinking the other day Brother Korki was saying, Sister Lata, one million two hundred thousand children. Okay, how are you paying them all the volunteers? You know what, in my basket. I remember Pastor Bill used to give the basket. You remember the basket always? And he will bless the basket, you know, and give me. I received that anointing. I received that from Pastor Bill. You see, he is the one who called me first time. Hello, millionaire. He is the one. He spoke a lot into my life. I love that, you know, that man of God, he's dancing with the Lord. Yes. And my Abraham also is there with the Lord, you know. So, in my basket, five, five loaves of bread, two fish, I still have. Yes. Are you understanding? Yes. Not big money in the bank. But in my basket, five loaves of bread, and two fish. Yes. Use it, still there. Use it, still there. God is blessing. Yes. Yes. God is the one who is blessing. Yes. So, it is feeding my children. It is feeding my widows, orphans. I have three orphanages. Not one orphanage. I was having one orphanage, but now I have three orphanages. Because in the COVID time, many passed away. Many, many, many died. So, they left the kids on the street and uh, the Lord kept me, you know, with the life, you know, I got COVID, but the doctors thought that I will die, <laughs> but no, you know what I always say, I'm not going to leave this planet until everything what God wants me yeah. to accomplish, yeah. I, am not, I am not leaving this planet, and I want you all to say that. Whatever God has a purpose and plans in your life, you will not leave the planet. You will not leave until you will accomplish that. Yes. And that's what I say. COVID has nothing to do with me. Amen. You see? So, the Lord survived. And for a specific purpose, I know that. So, all these orphans, I have taken three orphanages. And you know what? Girls, many, many girls. Many girls, I saved the girls because nobody wants girls, you see. And they are selling the girls to the brothel homes. And I buy these kids and they are there. I, I have Joyland, Promised Land, two orphanages and one more offer. Uh, somebody gave me the land, half acre land. Seeing all the girls, you know, say, hey, Lata, take this land. You keep these children, you know. I have a land, but you know what I'm praying? I want to build a dormitory, dom dormitory, or a big hall for these girls so that I can put them out. That's my project now. I'm asking God, you know what? I need to do this. And I want to name it, you know, Love Land, yes. Joy Land, Promised Land, Love Land. Yes. The girls are going to be there. So the Lord is moving in India, I can say. You know, so the girls are there with me and the three girls all like this. They're fatherless, mothers, no mothers. Sometimes fathers are there, but they want to sell them for the alcohol and all to the brothel homes. Mm. So I am saving them, my dear church. I buy them for $10. You want to buy a buffalo, $2,000. Mm. Buffalo, animal, $2,000. Whereas a girl, $10. Mm. Cheap. Mm. They don't want. The mother put a newspaper in front of the hospital. She gave birth to the girl. And the in-laws told her, don't come home with that girl baby. Throw her out and come. If you come with a girl baby, we are not allowing you inside the house. Inside the house. They don't want to. 
my own daughter my youngest daughter moni her husband arun who is not a christian is not a believer somehow you know arranged the marriage by you know god's people saying that he is a believer but he's not but anyway he left her because she gave birth to two girl babies he is going to marry another woman because moni gave birth to the girls and he doesn't want girls look at that they do not know that man is the one who is you know deciding man but they are blaming the woman so when woman gave birth to the girls she is not allowed back into the family so she has to get rid of the girl so she can't help it so she they throw this little girls in the train and in the trash thus last week i find five girl babies in the trash in in india in my city five girl babies so very sad so these girls are they need a place so i buy them and i put them in this you know i don't want them even the boys i i take care of the boys because you neglect them you know they go to the drugs or not everything so in india there is a place mumbai when they take the girl or boy they make them blind mm. they chop up their hands make them lame so that they can beg have you seen that millionaire slum dog millionaire you see that movie what they do with the children very sad very sad they kidnap the children and make them they put some kind of acid in their eyes and make them blind so that you know they can beg blind children will get more money so they make blind they chop up the legs they chop up the hands they make them handicapped so that they can beg i want you to see the slum dog millionaire but they showed little bit but real facts are more than that so i want to save the children yes. my church i want to save the children yes. i want to save the children for jesus and i in the word of god i want to raise them i know what all little girls will become like a little esther yes. bible in the bible esther you know orphan but she became the princess queen and god used her and i want to raise this boys like mordekai yeah, yeah. they will be mordekai but jesus yeah. that's what i want that's my yes. passion yes. that's what i wanted to do yeah. and you know what all my india lot of lot of people they do worship the millions of idols millions millions 300 millions gods so called gods and they all are worshiping but not satisfied they are not satisfied they need to hear about jesus yes. so non stop always i travel to this places to talk about jesus i'm telling you my church dear church i live in my van more than in my house <laughs> going all the time go 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 you know until every man and every woman every child hear the good news yeah that that is what i am doing and the god is you know this calendar i want to pass give to the pastors you see all over india red color which is unreached people most of india is in red color unreached people unreached they have not heard about jesus can you imagine we are all waiting on jesus second coming is coming soon things are happening every you know and many people do not know about jesus they are still worshiping the rats worshiping the snake worshiping the elephant worshiping what not fish everything so they need to hear about jesus yeah, yeah. so they need to hear about jesus jesus and god is so good and you know what the <clears throat> that's my husband you know he was here he the you know so how about he is with the lord yes. you know what my husband was my backbone he was my crown he was i was i was doing a lot of things with him but when he passed away this is the seventh year and i thought what am i going to do without him but you know what now my husband is 
the creator. So he, he said, with Abraham, you could do little. With me, you could do more. You can yes. do more. Yes. That's what happened. That's what happened. Yes. So I am so thankful to this church, Pastor Pam and Pastor Dan. Always we remember you in our prayers. Your picture is with us in our church. We always, for some reason, this place is a very favorite place. When I was in Atlanta, uh, Pastor Bill's wife showed up and I was so happy to meet her. One thing happened, you know what? This children ministry I'm doing from past 37 years, I win them for Jesus. When I was in Atlanta in one of the conference, Christian women's conference, one girl came to me. She must be 20, 22 years. She came to me because I'm in an Indian outfit. She is from India. So she came running to me and said, Auntie, you know, in India, everybody will call you Auntie, Akas, you know, they don't call you by name. So she came to me and said, Auntie, you don't know me. But I just want to say hello to you because you are in Indian outfit. You, you are from India. I said, yes, I'm from India. And I said, where, where are you? Are you from India? Yeah, from Hyderabad, from my city. I was excited. And she said, okay, because worship was going on, we don't want to be disturbed. And we said, it's okay. We will, we will um, talk on the Facebook, something like that. And she was leaving and she said, Andy, what is your name? She, she's asking my name. And I said, Latha Lincoln. And you know what? After hearing my, my, my name, she looked at me and said, Latha Lincoln, Auntie! Shouting, big, screaming, Latha Lincoln, Auntie! And I said, what? And she said, when I was a six years old girl, you led me to the Lord. Oh, yeah. I received Jesus. And she was saying, you know what? You know, in my Bible, you must be knowing the wordless book, you know, the wordless book, color book. She was saying, Auntie, with that color book, you told me about Jesus. And I received Jesus when I was six years old. Dear friends, six years old, remember my name. She may not recognize me, but she remembered my name. Lata Lincoln Auntie, I know you. The Lord anointed my name, I say. He anointed the name. The name is so important. Uh, he gave me this name. And that little girl, today she's 22 years, in the Christian conference. She is so beautiful, beautiful, good Christian. I led her when she was six years old, a Hindu girl. Amen. Hindu girl Amen. accepted Jesus. I see this kind of stuff a lot of places. Amen. So my dear church, when you win a child to Jesus, all through their life, they live for Jesus. Yes. And you know what? We don't buy half burn candles. Anybody will buy, go to the store and give me half burn candles. Nobody will buy. Everybody want full candles, right? Child is the full candle. Yes. When you light, when you give gospel to the child, not only has child child's soul is saved all through the life, yes. there is time for the Lord. Yes. Yes. Wonderful ministry. Yes. And I want you to remember us in your prayers. And please remember us in your prayer. Pray for India. I am so glad to see my flag. India for Jesus. India for Jesus. And brother, you mind, I want brother Korki, he, they both came to India. First time they came and thousands of people accepted Jesus when they were preaching. Past brother Korki was, when he see that our people, more than preaching, he will cry. He will cry, he will cry seeing this crowd. Because... They are not Christians. And then he preached the gospel. Second time he came, my government did not allow him. They didn't allow him even to sit on the chair, on the stage. So I have to preach to them. And they were 
very angry and they had to cancel the program and they returned to India, America. I'm so sorry for that, brother. So the, my government is that strict. And you know what? I want to talk about these people. They walked into my orphanage. The, I Many visitors in my to you, yes, you know, sister, so many people. Nothing happened in my orphanage. When Brother Corky and Jane came, they wept seeing my children. They cried in the promised land when they saw the children. And they were saying, Sister Lata, where they sleep? And I said, just mat, no mattress, or no cords for them, no sheets. But only little things, whatever we have. He cried. And he said, immediately he was calling on the phones. And you know what? They bought the mattress. They bought the cars. They bought everything for my children. The guts to cover everything. I want to give, speak two few minutes, Pastor. Yes, okay. Sorry, I, I'm a crier. <laughs> Hallelujah. God's so good, isn't he? He's so good. Uh, they have, hasn't even begun to share with you all the different ministries that they have. In one ministry is one of our favorites. And they have tailoring schools. They teach the widows and single mothers, and sometimes men, but mostly the widows and single mothers, they are looked down in that society. Unfortunately, that's what she was saying. But they teach them in a six-month training how to be a professional seamstress, how to be a professional tailor. Right? These widows and single mothers have been working in the hot fields 12 to 14 hours a day, swinging sling blades. I want you to think about that. Swinging sling blades. We have seen them out in the field in India all day long. And guess what they make? They make one to two dollars a day. One to two dollars a day. After they train them out of the so professionally, they're able to make five to six dollars a day. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot of money, but in their society, they, they can live fairly comfortable. Five to six dollars a day. We're talking about several times what they were making, brother. Several times. But, you know, and, and they have to have sewing machines. You know how much, you know what, what kind of sewing machine? And some of the younger folks, like this, this young man, he probably never seen a pill. So I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother had one. <laughs> My grandmother did too. All right. But those pedal sewing machines, they can work when the power outages, when they have power outages. And sometimes they don't have power. But they can work all through the day when they have daylight. They can, and you know how much they're sewing, those sewing machines, they get a brand new sewing machine. You know how much they, they cost? Take a guess, somebody. How much this young lady, this wonderful worship leader, how much do you think those, those pedaled sewing machines cost there in India? 20 bucks? $100. I would just say it. Now watch this, watch this, saints. One $100. When it's given to a lady, a single lady or a widow, they can now support their entire family for life for one $100. Yeah. When I was over there the first time, that was February 2018, Jan and my sweet Jan there, um, and I were there, and that's what I call her, sweet Jan, and she is my sweet Jan, and she is sweet every day. <laughs> but when we saw these, these, these uh, we actually went to a, uh, a seamstress or a tailoring graduation, and yes, I wept, because these are people that, that, needs, that need Jesus. But they need sewing machines. One one hundred dollars changes an entire family's life. They're able to provide for their family for the for life. 
But it, not only that, what it's done is it opens the door for these villages that the Hindus and the Muslims, they wouldn't let Christianity in these villages. They wouldn't let them to start a church. Now they, they have this lady that's making more money than the average lady, and she's smiling all the time because now she has Jesus. They've led him to, to the Lord, Pastor Don, right? Pastor Don, they've led him to Christ. They've, they've given him a livelihood. They've given him a sewing machine. And now they're able to go into these villages. And then the village leaders, they say, yes, we will let them in because they, these are changed people. These are changed people. And, 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 and now the villages are open. Now the, the, we can send pastors in there. And, and they can send pastors in there. I get excited about this, saints. I mean, this is phenomenal. And now think about what, what she was sharing a while ago. They have 4,000 kids clubs. Four, no, 4,000 uh, volunteers. Okay, yeah, 4,000 volunteers. 4,000, okay? And each one of the volunteers has at least three kids clubs. That's 12,000 kids clubs, right? All right? And with a minimum of 100 kids. And she has all kinds of pictures of these kids clubs. That's 1,200,000 kids. We said, do, do they know Rita? All right, Rita Campbell, which is her best friend. And, we, and she's one of our dearest friends. And she's staying with Rita right now. And a lot of us with us all day yesterday. But Rita Campbell, uh, we were in her living room back about four years ago now, right? Four years ago, and the Lord had me pray, Lord, give us 100 million souls for India. 100 million souls. Now, not 1 million, not 10 million, but 100 million. This is the strategy that God's going to use. Amen. Now, think about this. Only 100 times what she's doing now. 100 times. 1.2 million is 120 million souls. Wow. 120 million souls. Isn't that exciting? Yes. Can y'all get excited about that? If you oh, can't yes. get excited about it, you need to talk to the Lord. And that's the strategy. And these kids, they get saved. They have such peace and joy. that The Indians, the, the Hindus and the Muslims, they don't have any peace. They have no joy. But we have peace. We have joy because of the Prince of Peace. And the joy of the Lord is our strength, Amen. isn't it, brother? Yes, right. I, I see a joy all over you. I see an anointing on you. I don't know you. I don't, I've never met you. But there was a tremendous anointing on you. Amen. You're going to win many, many people to Christ, brother. Thank you, Jesus. You probably already are. Yeah. You know? A lot of asked me, uh, and I know we're, 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 we are time conscious, brother. But she asked me to share with you how to give to their ministry, okay? If you have something to write on, uh, we can get this to the pastor also. But uh, if you want to make out a check today, uh, make it out to, you know, we would rather you make it out to Christian, I mean, uh, Congregational Holiness Church. Is that okay? Or would you rather make it out to your church then you make out a check to Congregational Holiness? They're in Griffin, Georgia. They're the ones that wire money every month to Sister Lotta. And, uh, you know, for the orphans, it only costs $50 a month to support an orphan. If you if you have it in your heart, even if you can't handle $50 a month, if you can handle $10 a month or $20 a month. We have one sister in California, and it's Ashley Jam's sister, that she can't afford $50, but she sends $20 every month. And we send it to Griffin. You know, just whatever. But it only costs $50 a month to work in desperate need of much more support for the orphans. And God's going to bring it to us. He is going to bring it to us. But she doesn't complain, but she told me by text just a few weeks ago, she said, Brother, it's loaves and fishes, loaves and fishes. And I knew what she was talking about. But God's been multiplying what they have. I say this because I know church say the offering to me, but it is so hard to send a check to, you know, to the... Um, Chase account and all. It's very hard. So somebody helped me in setting this account. Even five dollars also you can send online. Sitting at your home, chh and you click on that. It will show. 
and you can write in memo. Like I see at church.com and you can write Lata Lincoln Sorphanish or Lata Lincoln Ministry. That money comes to me and the receipt that you get and tax exemption and just making easy, you know. I know we are very blessed in this church. They gave, you gave sewing machines for us, you know. You planted seed in our ministry. Lot of things happened in the orphanages. Lot of things, you know. So this is the easy way I just want to explain. And that setup, I really don't know how to explain. So he knows this brother, family, they are retired. They're not rich, but he made, they made a big difference in my orphanage. Not because they have money, because of their heart. And he is the one taking care of that chchurch.com, you know, sending the money, whatever. And every first I get money to feed the kids and our friends and widows and all, church planting and all. So thank you so much, pastors. Thank you so much for giving us this time. Thank you for your praise. Thank you for your support. Thank you.